Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Women are turned on by a manly build. Now let me be clear, let me be clear. This is getting into, this ain't even about just pure aesthetics. That's a piece of it, but this gets even deeper. Now y'all know my main thing is always talking about the body game, building your body. And, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, you got some people who try to challenge and say, well, I don't need it. Or they think they think bodybuilding or building your body is strictly about having, like, those male model muscles or bodybuilder muscles or something. And they're good, but everybody's not going to have that because one thing with building a body, regardless, unless you're going to, like, inject some steroids or something, you got, you know, it's about genetics. And even then with the steroids, if you want to do that, you still got to work. You don't just build, you don't just inject some steroids or any other type of thing and your body just pop out. Shoot, you got to get in. That's just giving you some extra fuel to go to the gym. And, you know, and even then some women might not necessarily be turned on by that. Or, you, or if they are, it's still just the surface. When I say manly build, you need to physically look like a man that's why that's why look that's why when sometimes people i talk about the body game and they'll say well i'm getting plenty of women and stuff but i'm slim or another next guy might be i'm getting plenty of women but i'm a big dude the key to it is you got that manly thing because okay let's use a slim man right the slim man if he still work on his body he's ectomorphic he still work on his body. He popping some veins or something. That's manly. Let me say that again. That's some manly thing. You know, because it doesn't look like a boy. And it doesn't look like a female. Like men who got whose bodies may be soft and out of shape or even like a female. And that's even that include that's that's even with the face thing. Like a manly face. Like everybody talks some face thing and they think, oh, well, I got this pretty face and stuff. It's like they can't wonder why they ain't getting women. I say, does that pretty face look masculine? And I'm dead serious. I ain't trying to put anybody down. I'm just being real with it. Yeah, it'd be good. Or does that does it look like an adult man? You know, it might be good when you're a teenager or something. But if you get older and, you know, you still got a boyish face or something like that, that don't work out as well, right? That's a very important key. You know, that's a very important key. You know, you got to be like, you know, looking like a man, right? And, you know, I mentioned a, a slim one, but then some of the big guys, like if you get kind of like a big dude, right? Like say you got a little bit of gut on them, right? Some women like that. Some women like that. Many women like that. In fact, even on social media, I've seen women go crazy over some of those big old dudes. But the key is what else is on them? You know, are they are they taller? Are they powerful looking with it? You know? If they got big arms, big chest, big shoulders, and even with the gut, they ain't even bothered by that that much. Because he still, when you look at him, you think, man. Now, understand something. When women see, and that's just a surface thing. A lot of times, people are caught up into the surface thing. But you got to understand, when we talk about mating, the thing that turns, women are turned on on a subconscious level. Let me say that again. They turn on on a subconscious level, regardless of what they say. They can get up and talk about they want the bag or they want this type of status and all of that. And that's good. That's more like a social thing, because what happens is socially they say they want stuff. And, yeah, they, that's in there. But with, when they get turned on on a primal level, it's that masculinity, that manliness, you know, that manliness, that's the thing that turns them on. So remember when Beard Game, that whole Beard Game thing was popular? It was that uh, uh, Facebook thing. Uh, beard Game Matters. I mean, that that thing was crazy. That's why you got a lot of guys walking around with beards now. But it's a masculine thing. I mean, I mean, come on. You don't see women walking around like that. That's a subconscious thing. The message she sees is that man is strong. That man is a man. And say he don't have a beard but a strong jawline. 
And then shoot, medical science has pointed that out because it hits them on a primal level. You know, that's why, you know, when you get that guy, he got that strong jawline and everything. They look, that's doing something. It represents testosterone. You know, when a man has a strong or like uh, certain cheekbones, how his head is shaped and everything is masculine. Because if you look at a truly feminine woman, her face don't look like a man's. You know, her face does not look like when you see it, you think female. So the more masculine your face is, height, height, muscles. If she smells you, you smell like a damn man. Or if you got a nice bulge on you, women be looking there. Even when they looking at your legs or like women look at a day, they be looking at that butt too. They looking at that, you know, how it's moving and everything. The sound of your voice. What it does on a primal level gets her in an automatic receptive mode. Because subconsciously, this is how all women, only time women get out of this is when they very old, had a lot of trauma, been through menopause. Right. This is the only time they might. Notice I said the word might. They might get out of it because I've met older women and they still turned on the same way on a subconscious level. Because as soon as a woman sees a man and he presents as masculine, he, the, the image they see is masculine. The body build is masculine. You know, then he they happen to smell him. That's a mask. I mean, uh, masculine smell. Now, I know we talk about colognes, all that stuff is good, but sometimes women can be turned on. You could be sweating, but it's a masculine thing. Sometimes women go in the gym, and they, they, they will say they smell the testosterone. That's a masculine thing. It's, um, you know, when they're looking at your body. That's why I always say the body game. When they look at that masculine form, that manly bill, like they look at you, first thought is manly. On a subconscious level, it makes them receptive automatically receptive that's why you get some women you get some younger women really go crazy over older men people think it's money no it's not no it's not not in all cases if that dude's a zaddy if that dude's a zaddy like one of those dudes he can have all the gray but he still got a muscular body and he walks and carry himself in a masculine manner and they see that they look at him and they see that they go crazy but the reason why, and yeah, on a social level, oh, yeah, he's too old. Or, uh, you know, he might not have the same status. Yeah, they still look for the status and everything. They still want that. And they might can fight it, but on a subconscious level, they see the body. And they already become receptive. And that's a key. That's a key. And if a man, I'm going to tell you what, if a man can pick up on who's receptive, Shoot, that's the game right there. Game over. Because that's who they go crazy over. Like when I go out personally, I look for a certain look because they're going to look a certain way. They're going to be friendly. And women will always be receptive to that. But it's on a subconscious thing. They feel it. They feel that down in their womb. Shoot, their vagina's tingling. All that dude had to do is pick up on it and then walk up and say, hey, how you doing? Shoot, he got her number right there. She's she going to come to him. She could be married. She can be whatever. And, in fact, those are the guys, uh, shoot, there have been several studies that have talked about that. Those are the guys that they'll, if they married, they'll cheat with. Like, I can take, psh, I'm going to be real with you. I can tell, I can look at a man and tell his likelihood of being select. Now, people get mad at me and all that, get over it because it's a primal thing. And people talk about masculinity and all of that shit. That ain't no rational thing. That's an energy. That's a primal thing. And that, prim that primal thing got re reflecting your body build. You know? That's why women, in fact, you know, just the muscles, the body frame, all of that. Shoot, that's why on a primal level, that's why, shoot, that's why women can make a male exotic dancer or an a gigolo rich because they turn they were already receptive and then all the man has to do if he got that body making receptive know how to use it to his advantage 
In fact, he can have, that's that's how to have control. People think it's about some, you got some money, you can control a woman. No, maybe socially, and she'll agree publicly, but then you can get down into her spirit if she's receptive to you, just turned on by your body bill. So, that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and many blessings. <laughs>